Hello, welcome to this tutorial on Cosmosis, which is part of my shebang modules, which work in VCV Rack. Now, uh, Cosmosis seen here is basically a uh, continuous sequencer and based on um, star constellations. So there's, there's some preset constellation patterns that you can use. And this idea of a continuous sequencer is um, distinct from uh, kind of typical sequencers you see in you know modular synth stuff uh, in that there aren't necessarily discrete time steps. Um, <clears throat> so for this reason, you can you can kind of create rhythms that sort of fall in the cracks or um, you know aren't necessarily based on uh, some 16 note grid or triplet grid or whatever but are actually based on, you know, fractions of a second or something. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so let's just go through the model uh, module and, uh, and I'll explain all the different parts here. Um, I, I already have it hooked up to, uh, let me talk about the output here. Um, I have it set to 16, 16 channels in poly, polyphonic mode and the... Uh, Voltage per octave is hooked up to this oscillator. Have this square wave going into a uh, filter. And then the trigger goes to this envelope generator here. So those are the two basic output things. Uh, so other than that, it should be um, the, some of this stuff up top should be fairly self explanatory. The play button obviously starts it. So let's listen to. And the speed, I, I, I called it the speed rather than the BPM because it's, you know, like I said, it's not based on uh, necessarily discrete time steps or any sort of BPM. Um, and the pattern is this constellation pattern that you have here. And there's, there's, some, there's a bunch that, that you can kind of go with, you know, whatever your, your favorite constellation may be. Then there's a clear button if you want to just start from scratch. And you can click and add your own. And you can even click on some that already exist and drag them around if you, if you want to. Or better yet, you can start with a pattern and then uh, click on one and move it around or add another star or something like that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, let's see... So this next section here is based on how it takes its pitch or how it interprets uh, what uh, pitch to output. And uh, you can see there's a, a key signature here in C. Um, right now I'm in the Lydian mode and there's a size and position and that tells it uh, how to uh, interpret what or quantize what pitch it's going to be in the scale so right now it's based on position so the lower uh the lower stars will be the low note in the scale and then uh of course the higher stars up here will be um higher up in the scale and you know th this intuitively makes sense if you're playing But if you're looking for a more kind of randomized approach, um, you can select the size and then it goes based on the size. So the larger they are, the lower the pitch will be. And you can get the same, same rhythm. by just switching that knob. Um, I, I should also note that like when you click and add one, it randomly, uh, it randomly uh, picks a size. So you don't really have a control over that. It's just sort of a, a, um, an extra, you know, kind of randomized feature, I guess, uh, for, you know, creativity. But um, the purpose is to try to make something from that. Um, 
So, but like I said, if you're not interested in using the, if you're not interested in the size because you can't really control that part, then just keep it on position and then you can change, uh, you can move it around however you like. Um, anyways, uh, so let's, uh, oh, and the other part here, um, when we get down to this bottom part, um, there are different modes. So the typical way, you know, we, uh, we would see a sequencer or read music or think about time, I guess, or even just like when you write, um, is it usually goes left to right. And uh, there are different modes um, here. So I'll just go through each one. The purple goes from left to right, like you already saw. Blue goes from top to bottom. <laughs> And then the difference here is uh, the when, when we're dealing with position is pitch is taken from uh, right to left. So the low pitches are over on the right, high pitches are over on the left. The next one is uh, this aqua color. So basically reading it backwards from right to left. And I have octave controls here, so if I if I set these, uh, if I if I play purple left to right, this is the pattern, and then I now go to aqua. Now you hear the the retrograde or. or the backwards version of it in musical terms, retrograde. Um, and then of course we have red, which comes from the bottom. And I have the octave down a couple, a couple of octaves. And then of course the red is, is the retrograde of the blue. Now there's other modes um, where it will cycle through all of them, like that mode, clockwise, that, then it goes, this mode is counterclockwise, random, and I believe, yeah, that's all of them. Uh, <clears throat> so um, the other thing is you can click this button to randomize your positions. There's an input here. If you want to use a trigger, um, you can randomize their size. Um, and that's basically all the... Um, uh, just the the meat and potatoes, I guess, of of this module. Now, if I if I use a MIDI controller and connect to my to this input, I can actually control the key. Uh, so, if I'm playing, um, let's go back to purple here. So right now it's in C. Now. Now I jumped up to G. Now I jumped up to B. Now F sharp. So if you needed to actually change the key signature as you're playing, you can do that. There's also, there's many different uh, scales and modes here. And um, uh, when you get into like the, the MM7, that, that means uh, major, major seventh. So if you're unfamiliar with those terms, there's a link in the uh, manual that, that, that uh, you can kind of read about that. Minor, minor seventh. Um, you know, these are just like, you know, chord extensions and stuff. Uh, messy and uh, synthetic scales. And then there's raw volts, which basically will, um, it'll sound microtonal. It doesn't quantize itself to a, a specific pitch or scale. It's just based on its position from uh, on the screen. So let's listen to that one. And 
it's fun whenever you get like some of them close together and they their uh, uh, harmonics kind of interfere with each other. So you get some really cool, you know, that can be a nice effect if you're looking for that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, another thing is that's fun to do. Let's get rid of that is um, you can control the speed with like an LFO, for example. Um, well, the problem is this can get pretty out of control, so you, you might want to slow the speed down. play with it uh, another thing we can do here just for fun is I'm gonna add the voltage down to this freak this uh, filter so the lower pitches will hear um, will be uh, more filtered and then the higher ones will be less filtered and they'll sound brighter which is kind of how natural instruments work actually <laughs> That's about it for the for Cosmosis. Um, this module should provide um, you know a bit of you know lots of control um, if you're trying to create something specific, but it should also uh, provide uh, some randomness, um, which can kind of help generate if you're using it for more of a generator or uh, you know adding to some type of creativity that you're you know that helps you come up with an idea or uh, whatever it might be. So it, it has, uh, I, I kind of like it with, it has nice, um, uh, it's kind of the best of both worlds, I think, you know. There's enough control and enough randomization uh, to play with it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>